Welcome back. I'm David the Good, and today I'm going to share with you why your fruit trees are not growing quickly and what you can do about it right now. Last spring, we put in about 16 trees at my neighbor's house. A little orchard, all ready to go. Bare root trees put out right before they broke dormancy, perfect time of year. And you know what? They grew, but they didn't grow a lot. So this spring, we are rectifying that situation. And public enemy number one to tree growth is grass around the base of a tree. This grass right here around a young tree means that the energy that the tree should be getting, all of the fertility of the soil and the rainfall and whatever fertilizer and stuff gets thrown, a lot of it is being consumed by grass roots. So my neighbor has a pretty decent lawn by Southern standards and the lawn is encroaching on the space that should be used by tree roots to gather the energies that are being put into the system, the water, the fertilizer, whatever the fertility is in the soil. Studies have shown that grass roots grow about twice as fast as tree roots and are more aggressive. If we get a light rainfall, the grass eats, drinks the rain first. If you put some fertilizer out here, it eats it. If I put compost out here, it eats it. So the first thing we have to do to make a tree grow faster is to clear the grass from around the base of it to three to four feet out from the trunk. We want a nice circle of bare soil for starters. I started with the shovel, but then I decided to break out the wheel hoe. And it is a much better tool for this. Once you get rid of the grass, the second important thing is to give the trees some food. This is a combination of cottonseed meal and lime with a little bit of kelp meal mixed in here for minerals. And we are just gonna throw it around our tree. It doesn't need a ton of it, but it's a, it's a slow release. Here, throw some in. Good job. Lime helps adjust the pH, gives a little bit of calcium if you have acid soil like we have here. Trees like it usually a little bit on the acid side, but not too acid, and we're probably a full pH point below where it should be. And the cottonseed meal is slow release nitrogen. The soil organisms will come and eat it and bury it back into the ground. The worms will eat it and it'll slowly decay and release over the course of the season. And then that kelp meal is just every mineral we may have missed because there's 90 minerals in the ocean that get pulled up by kelp. So I like to put a little bit of kelp in everything just to kind of bolster plants immune systems and perhaps give them the little bits and pieces that they need to fight off stuff. You don't exactly know what a lot of these little micronutrients are doing in the system, but I would rather not ignore them. And I also know that whatever fruit we get from the tree will have a higher nutrient density to it because we provided the nutrients right through its growth cycle and it can take them up and grow and be strong and healthy and build its immune system. The third thing you want to do is mulch. This is mulch from the tree companies. They just shredded all these hardwoods by the side of the road. This will break down into humus, which is compost, feeding the tree over time. There's all kinds of leaves and shredded vines and all kinds of other stuff in here. It is a slow release food for the plant. But beyond that, it also keeps moisture in, suppresses the weeds in the grass, keeping them from coming back. And this is particularly important where you have hot sun, it allows the plant roots to stay cool beneath the ground, giving them optimal conditions for growing. They can take what they want to out of this mulch and they'll stay cool and they'll grow better, happier, faster. I took some trees that hadn't been doing very well. They've been sitting about two years, grass growing around the base of them. And I cut all the grass away. I fed them, I watered them and I gave them a bunch of mulch. 
Now I had fed and watered them before and it didn't make a huge difference. When I put a bunch of mulch around them, it made a huge difference. And they grew very quickly. They almost doubled the year after I gave them that mulch. Mulch makes a huge difference. I recommend using a mix of materials if you can get wood chips from the tree line companies, clear the power lines or whatever, do that. And then the last thing is, is don't pack it up too close to the trunk. You don't want to cause this trunk to rot. So kind of make a donut with a little bit in the middle. You can feed your fruit trees anytime from as they're breaking dormancy in the spring through about the middle of summer, but you don't want to feed them as it gets later. They're going back into a dormancy cycle, at least in temperate climates. If you're in the tropics, you can just feed them anytime you want to. But we often feed them in the spring and then we give them a little more uh, a few months later, just a little dusting of whatever we have available to get them growing through the spring season and strongly into the summer. But then as we get past the solstice and it starts to decline again, and they start getting closer to losing their leaves, you want them to harden up and get a little tougher and get ready for the winter. So we don't want a whole bunch of new growth coming out later. So mulching, you just mulch as the trees need it. And so if it looks like it's getting a little thin, just throw some more mulch on it. Whatever you have available, save your fall leaves. You know, if you've got some hay or whatever that you've cut, making sure that it's not been sprayed with something horrible because there's stuff they spray on hay that can kill a tree. Don't just go with buy hay and put it around your tree. But if you have it and you know that it's not been sprayed with anything, use it, it rots down really nicely, throw your grass clippings around the trees. Whatever you got just to kind of keep that organic matter coming down, keeping the roots cool, slowly feeding with humus, that's fantastic. But the last factor that I haven't touched on yet is watering. Watering could be the primary factor. If a tree has water, it can get by with a lot. It just doesn't have the stress. Like Psalm 1 says, like a tree planted by streams of water bearing fruit in its season. If you don't have water at the right time of year, if you don't have water when the tree is actively growing and setting fruit, etc., the tree does not do well. And to get a tree to grow quickly, it needs regular water. Uh, my aunt would trickle a hose on her trees after transplanting them for a month or two months or three months, she'd have a little trickle of water running off and on. Every other day, run the hose out there and just let it trickle at the edge of the root zone. So there's always a little bit of moisture going past the roots. And that makes a huge difference. It's like a tree planted by streams of water. It can put its roots into moisture. Anytime it needs moisture, it has it. Now, obviously don't flood your trees because that will cause them to rot. But a little bit of moisture anywhere in the root zone where they can reach it is great. So if you come out and you water them deeply every few days, that's great. If you had a little trickler running, that's great. But what you don't want to do is just stick them out in the yard, let the grass grow around them, don't mulch, don't feed them, and don't water them. Water them regularly, treat them like babies. Trees don't complain quickly like a vegetable. If your lettuce doesn't get watered for a few days, it wilts immediately and you know it. A tree will just sit there and suffer and stay small for a long period of time. It has a longer lifespan and it's slower to respond. But that tree is suffering and that's why it's not growing fast. Give it the water, give it the mulch, give it the food. Treat it like a baby and it will bear for you much, much quicker. Thanks for watching. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, I hope that you will check out my other videos, like and subscribe, and check out my books on Amazon. I will put a link below. I write gardening books for a living. I'm living the dream and I think you'll enjoy the books. Thanks for watching. May your fruit trees grow like crazy. And until next time, may your thumbs always be green. Hey hon, come check out this soil. It's taking me all day to go. Hi hon, wow, this soil is so rich. I know, it's trying to be like me. Oh my word, is this a water apple tree? Yeah, it's gonna go great in the soil. Wow, it's really gonna take off here. What's in the soil anyways? It's best you keep your business to yourself. All right, I don't need no answers.
dry Chasing twilight with two high beams Is this real?